Today I have got a 10 year comparison between two different WWE wrestling games. The one is SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 and the other one is WWE 2K19. And I figured I'd drop this today because today is the official release of WWE 2K20. Which I didn't bother to pre-order because I didn't want to pay an extremely high price for it. When I got 2K19 for about $10 thanks to Black Friday. And if I do even plan to get 2K20, I'm going to have to, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. Because from what I've seen, it's honestly worse than 2K19. And if I do anything... I'm gonna get. The, I'd rather get the DLC for 2K19 compared to getting 2K20. The only nice thing they added for 2K20 was added mixed tag matches, which are actually a possibility in SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, which was heavily focused on tag teams in the game, which you would think is a good thing, but it's honestly not that good of an idea because when I was when I always played two, 2009 I always stuck to just singles matches because the whole knowing which person which superstar you were going after was a real pain so I've only played tag team matches occasionally where in 2k19 you don't get mixed tag matches in this game but you get them in 2k20 but I think that Overall, 2K19 is a lot better when it comes to just about everything. It probably should, because it's 10 years later, 10 years after the 2009 version. But there is still some parts that make SmackDown vs. Raw a lot better than 2K19. And one of them is the commentary. You got different commentary from Raw, SmackDown, and ECW compared to 2K19 where you basically get the same commentary every single match with the same three commentators even when you do an NXT match in NXT it's the same three commentators which is a real shame because I feel that they could have stepped it up with doing at least different commentators for the normal show, the main roster shows and NXT. Then you could have done something a lot different. But that was one of the things that I really missed from SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. And then another thing is the move sets have gotten a lot more detailed compared to 2009. You get better moves, and the moves are a lot smoother than they were in SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. And another comparison thing, another similarity would be you could create your own superstar. You could only do that for SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 in 2K19. But then in 2010, they introduced your creating your finisher, which is really nice. I wish they would bring that back. You got create a move set in 2K19, but no create your own finisher, so that really limits your created superstar in making it different from all the other superstars that you get in 2K19, which is a probably triple the size of what you got for roster for SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, and plus you got. The DLC, which I'm thinking of getting the DLC for my 2K19. I'd rather get that than get 2K20. But that's just a comparison for the major parts to 2K to WWE 2K19 and SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Which, SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 is good but it's honestly not as good as 2k19 now if i was comparing 2k17 with smackdown vs raw 2009 i'd rather take the older version honestly 
because 2K17 isn't that great. And I only got it because it was my first. It was cheaper to get that than wait and get 2K18. So I got that instead. Kind of wish I would have gotten 18, but I bothered it. I didn't want to wait for it. I didn't want to wait an extra couple months to get 2K18. So I just got 17 and then skipped 18 altogether. I'm thinking of possibly skipping 2K20, unless there's a way to change the controls back to the controls for 2K19. But that's what I possibly will do. But you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video game comparison 10 years later in the comment section below and if you want me to do um, questions on my video games for my Q&A that I have announced that I've announced multiple times for um, my end of the year anniversary video for this year if you guys want me to do video game questions Feel free to go back to my Q&A announcement video and drop any questions video game related. And you guys can drop more than one question for the Q&A. So if you guys ever decide on thinking of new questions, go back to the video and drop the questions. I want as many questions as possible. So you guys can drop multiple questions. But feel free to tell me your thoughts on this 10 years later look back on these two great video games in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.